So let's go in and take a look at it. All right, belonging. There's a strongest extension in that section of complying is belonging. Belonging is a measure of a deep need to be accepted. I need to be accepted. If I'm not accepted, I'm in trouble. And when we talked to Bob, it became pretty clear why that was the case. But when you look at the top half of his profile, you can see immediately that that need to be accepted is pulling in his courage scores. Because courage is the willingness to move forward in disapproval. Bob's too concerned about how he's doing with people in order in a, in to really take on the tough issues, have the difficult conversations that need to happen in order to forward things, right? Then you can come over here and look at his decisiveness scores. And... Um, they're low too. So he's holding back on key decisions, key conversations, and that's really hurting his performance. Now there's a lot more going on in this profile, but you get the kind of dynamics of how this whole thing works together and creates a very complete picture of both the behavior that's running and how the operating system is working. Now, what do you think Jack's profile looks like? Just the opposite. If I click back and forth, we got a mirror image opposite here. Put them side by side, you can see why they were struggling. Jack has the opposite dynamic here. It's a tension between uh, relationships and high control, aggressive leadership. So Bob's a turnaround guy. He's really good at it. But underneath, there's a deep fear that if I fall short, I'm screwed. I'm only as good as my last turnaround, so I, am, uh, I take a take-no-prisoners approach. Even though he believed in people and high-performance work systems, the question he asked me when I first met him was, I know I can turn plants around. I don't want to be a turnaround specialist all my life. I want to find out if my leadership can take this plant to the next level. With this structure that he's running, probably not. And so um, when we... Uh, when Bob got deep insight into what was running him, and Jack got some pretty deep insight into what was running him, we put them in the same room together, they laid their profiles out on the table together, and they both looked at it and they went, oh, no wonder. And they, without any real facilitation on my part, they went right to it. So when you do that, I think you're the animal. <laughs> and that shuts me down. Well, when you shut down, you know, I attack. It was um, within short order they were able to be in the same room with each other.